Hello everybody, welcome back. I've got a special treat for you all today. We're going to be playing Stellaris. Now, this game is a very close to my heart. I think it's fantastic and it's really cool being able to build a galactic empire and all that kind of cool stuff. So if you guys don't know what Stellaris is, uh, actually one second, I'm just going to quickly start. We're going to have a randomized empire here because for all that these are nice and pre-built species and things like that, they're all cool in their own right, the way and all that stuff. I'm just going to randomize it. Adds a bit more fun to things, I think. Um, I think for the sake of this, yeah, we'll just keep all those settings as I had before. It's going to be a really big map. Um, it's going to be a huge thousand star uh, galaxy we're in. Uh, so if anybody doesn't know what Stellaris is, it's a real-time strategy um, that involves you having your own little pocket of space and then you have to expand out and grow your galactic empire and and win <laughs> in general and there's lots of different ways you can win of course uh, but I'll get into a bit more into that later uh, so for now um, let's have a look at the species that we have here our civilization oh dear we're disgusting our species Buvondian ugh now does that one pl what, what are you like a fungoid or something okay uh, let's have a look see what our story is like in the eons since the first primitive Buvondan, I can't even pronounce it, Buvondan, yeah, Buvondan communities took shape in the idyllic valleys and lush forests of Bundavonia. <laughs> Their civilization has spread and prospered. The vast world we call home has always been a paradise to our kind, and as our scientific knowledge progressed, we began to see patterns in the biosphere that could not be natural. Did some unknown entity create this world specifically for us? Or are we playing a part in a, grand, a greater design? Regardless of its origin, our people have thrived in, in the pleasant climate and gentle environment of our home world. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane network, it, the finest minds of the Bavondian Foundation have finished the development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasps. Excellent. Cool. 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 Right, so we are... We're fanatic pacifists. We don't like war. Spiritualists. Functional architects, uh, life seeded. So this home world is a Gaia world. Fuck yeah. As they just mentioned, actually, uh, perfect world habitability. Hmm. So we, we prefer perfect worlds. No shit. All right. Okay. So let's have a look. See where in the galaxy we find ourselves. Right. We're on the the right hand side of it somewhere. Um. It's just a made up galaxy, of course. This isn't <laughs> this isn't their own Milky Way. Um, alright, so we have to start research first, let's get that going. Um, I think a fusion reactor for our physics, and we're going to start farming, and I think it'd be nice to have an engineering facility research for us. Excellent, okay. Um, so we're still paused. Uh, what have we got? We've got a science ship we got to do something with. Uh, is that a science station or is that a science ship? I want to see what our ships look like. In fact, let's have a look. Okay, there's our science ship. And there's a construction ship. Very uh, fungoidy, <laughs> I guess would be the word. If it makes sense. And we've got a nice, lovely, classy blue star. Okay, well, let's we'll send our science ship on its first voyage. Where do we want to go? Um, I think a best... So if we want to expand out to the right somewhere. I want to expand upwards. I like expanding upwards rather than downwards. So... Uh, let's send him up to that star system there and see what's going on and we'll put the game on um, I think for the sake of this gameplay it'd be nice to make it go a little bit faster because it can be uh, put, oh, not put it fast not fastest it can be kind of slow to get started with there isn't a whole lot going on uh, so how about we get our uh, mining oh, no, it's a mining station sorry where's our construction ship there's our construction ship. That was a mining station we looked at before, I think. Yeah, look at that. This just It just looks disgusting. I don't know why. Mm, okay, let's get mining. We'll start. We'll get a mining station built over here. And this gives us our minerals that we need to build just about anything, honestly. Um, you'll see either our resources here, energy credits and minerals. We also have food as well. We need to worry about for um, <laughs> feeding our population, of course. Uh, influence and unity and these will get to um, they don't play too much of a, a part at the start here um, the influence is essentially 
our civilization's influence on the, the galaxy. I suppose you could look at like uh, more of a political influence than anything else. It, it tells you there. Influence represents political clout and is used for many things like enacting edicts, making claims, building outposts, and dealing with factions. Well, we don't need a whole lot of it right now, but we'll we always end up needing influence in some kind of way in the future. So we'll keep that in mind for now. Our unity. Um, unity is used to unlock new traditions, and we'll show you what the traditions look like in a moment. <laughs> Oh, very sorry there, I had to sneeze. Um, okay, here we are, here's our traditions. Now, um, we're, there's lots of different paths we can choose. I think, I personally like, I like to discover. I think discovery is quite a cool one to go into. Um, we can survey things a lot faster, um, to start off with anyway. And um, that's going to help us. So I think we're going to spend our unity that we build up over time. We're going to spend that on discovery. Right. Well, things are going moderately fast now, so our construction ship has finished building his mining outpost. Um, and that works for us, but now I think we'll build one over here. This will, you see this symbol, and they will get energy credits from this one up in our top left here. The BNF Halav Adfin, <laughs> I'm going to change the names of these ships at some point, has made a startling find on Ostikut, Ost, Ostiuk 2. <laughs> these names man the planet is teeming with alien life for the first time in history we have encountered life forms that did not originate on a buvadonia buvon buvondonia why i, I should you know what you're right i should have i should have named this place myself i should have made my own civilization my own empire whatever okay so buvondonia uh this amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe Although none of the alien creatures found on Ost uh, Ostayuk 2 are sapient, it's likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out here. Well, isn't that just fantastic? Okay, let's see what our mining ship's doing. He's well on his way to building our energy credit thingy, our mining platform. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Bavondonia. The, both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life that are found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalogue the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus on our uh, planetary survey efforts uh, on habitable, life-bearing worlds. A commendable initiative! Or we have more important things to focus on. Um, okay, that's bullshit. I think we definitely should. Um, well, we're going to look for habitable worlds because we're going to expand, aren't we? Situation What's the point if we don't expand? Updated. The Buvondonian Foundation is abuzz with the news of alien organisms discovered on BFN, well, by the BFN Halav Adfin some time ago. Buvondon, theologians, these words are just very, are, are too big for me. Theolo, theol, theologians have been partaking in Archean rites since the first sign that the divine providence extends outside Buvondonia, attempting to find new answers. Intriguing. Okay, let's see how the survey is going down here. So here we are. Um, we found we have to survey these uh, each planet in this system. That's why it's taking so long. If you can see our science ship, um, so he's already found that we've got physics research we can collect here, and there's some society research we can collect here, and we'll get to there shortly. But we want to build up our home system a bit more first. Just since, um, yeah, our construction ship is currently building a mining platform here uh, on this planet. And, yeah, we finished our farming technology research. Okay, so he, he does well research. with statecraft, so let's, let's get some of that done. I always like putting the bonuses in as much as possible, just because you've got to research all these things anyway, so you might as well get it done quickly. Oh, we've got more technology. Oh dear. Technology minerals plus five percent. Always a good thing to have at the start, because um, we're going to be farming lots of minerals in our playthrough here. Our construction ship. He is done. Excellent. Now put you back to work, and we're going to collect some science, or well, some physics rather, some physics research. And most of it's science anyway. Okay. So we just need to collect the science there now. And we will be done after that. Oh, traditions available. 
Remember what I was looking at this before? Ship survey speed increased by 35% and the disengage chance is increased by 50%. That's something we're going to see later. We don't need to worry about that now. Um, but I want that survey speed. It's mine. Alrighty, so we're making a good start. Um, we can look at our starport here. This is stuff... Well, this is the... As the name suggests, this is our starport uh, for um, uh, this particular system. And what I'm going to use this for is... I want to... do. Oh, I'm going to leave that just now. Don't think we want anything here just yet. Um, yeah, we don't want to build any uh, anything too big right now. Oh, system's fully, uh, fully finished. An ancient orbital started. shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage. Complete. The entire sections of the, of the facility are missing. Well... Oh, challenging. Oh dear. Now, will we manage? Oh, I think that's just a, a time constraint, I think. Fuck it, let's go for it. Let's do it. Uh, where was I? Um, Alright, spaceport. So, spaceport here, we have based around our planet. Or, well, yeah, I guess it is based around our planet. It's where we're going to build our civilian ships. So, I want to get some more, another science ship. So, we can uh, survey faster. That's going to be quite important for us. I want to see what the galaxy looks like. And we can see it's a big fucking galaxy. Um, so our current science ship is busy right now. Uh, situation log wants us to look at yeah, habitable systems, and remember that. What's this one talking about? That's the research he's doing. So everything's steadily underway. You're finished constructing now. Hallelujah. You're finished the construction. Okay, cool. Right. Um, construction so complete. I think what we want to do now is we want to expand our territory over to this place we've just... Uh, finish surveying. So that involves building a star base. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But we need a construction ship to make his way over. He'll take a little while. And meanwhile, we have our signed ship. Who's going to. Uh, I'm going to send off. Oh, need to sign a leader. Okay, so here's our leaders. Currently, we don't have any governors, admirals, or generals yet. But we have plenty of scientists. And would you look at that? We're going to need some more. Um, let's have... Okay, so these are the traits Technology we're looking at. Research. I'm going to get some young blood. Alright. Let's have you. Your skill level's one. Well, obviously, I've just picked you up. Okay, let's get. Let's send you to go and investigate down underneath. Fantastic. So, everybody's busy. Everybody's got their own thing to do. Um, next order. Oh, we have physics research done. Okay, you're, you're just a genius. You just do anything good. So, physics lab, please. Oh dear, tradition again. Uh, data bank uplinks. Allow science ship to assist research. We don't want that just yet. Uh, yeah, let's get some some diff uh, some research alternatives. That just basically means we'll have more Technology to choose from researched. here, as we can see. Um, I think uh, let's get this done early on. Oh wait, was there any rocket craft? Must have been some uh, some some void craft. Sorry, that's such a cool word, isn't it? Void craft. I love that. See, this game it just it just enraptures me all the time. Every time I play, I get really caught up in it. And the music's really super cool as well. Listen to that. I'll just let you listen for a second. It's super spacey. <sighs> Doesn't that just set the the mood right? It sets the theme. It's so good. Okay, where are we now? Let's take some stock. Construction complete. Thank you. I was just getting to that. Construction ship Construction has now claimed complete. this system as our own territory. Fantastic. Now let's lay claim to the research stations here, or build some research stations around everything. A class M star. Hmm. So there's no. We'll see habitable worlds. Uh, I'll explain what the, these symbols are here. So this. When, when the, the planetary symbol here, the one that looks suspiciously like Earth, is um, red on the corner, that means that it's not habitable. Doesn't mean to say it won't always be habitable, because we can terraform planets, um, but that comes much later on. And also depends on your species and what they prefer. As we've seen, our species <laughs> has preference for Gaia worlds, which are perfect worlds. Absolute perfect Goldilocks worlds. And we... <laughs> Perhaps don't really need that. 
but nonetheless that's what the random game chose us to do and it's going to make the hab inhabiting planets a little bit more difficult but we'll we'll we'll, we'll get used to it we'll find a way around it nothing's impossible in this game well okay some things are impossible in this game but most things aren't uh he's taking a long time researching this but i suppose that was the whole point of the challenging thing right wasn't it he's almost done though he's like 80 percent done okay so oh, okay the name of the gasket zub i don't like that at all i'll probably rename it within plays at some point or within episodes i'm not a big fan of that let's see what you're doing now construction complete why don't we go over and see what else we can do so we have two more research stations we can build let's get the engineering one done first uh, I, I just never been a big fan of like society research it just doesn't it doesn't encap it doesn't enrapture me you know it's not interesting I like physics and engineering and society yay statecraft and for some reason biology seems to come under society as well I, I guess I can see some correlation but it's not very strong honestly what can I say um, let's, oh, while conducting their survey on Osteuk 5, the BFN <laughs> I'll have Adfin, I've got to change these names, uh, detected the remains of an, un, uh, an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a um, heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Science officer <laughs> Wadab Uvi Ul <sighs> Wadi is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. Mmm, challenge accepted. Oh. Situation Station log updated, updated, yeah. Are you, are, are you sure? Oh, that was the anomalies Technology thing, cool. Research. Right, I have to get a construction ship over there. Is it worth it? See, these are the things you have to decide in the game. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence reads a popular Newsnet post on Buvondonia. The people of Buvondonia Foundation um, are apparently finding some humour in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, uh, sorry, record, but potential equals from other stars uh, continue to elude us. Science officer Wadi reports um, a uh, report that traces uh, found on Osteuk 5 seemingly only add to an, an ironic twist on to, um, to the situation. Remarkable. Is it really that remarkable? I don't think so. Oh, lots of technology research. Okay, let us... You're good with the statecraft, as we established. A hollow temple. Um, oh yeah, we're spiritualists, aren't we? Spiritualist ethic attraction. Sure, why not? Um, let's have a look at research speed increase. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. What do you guys think? Construction complete. Well... I can't know that I can respond to you guys, but I assume you're agreeing with me. Uh, let us go and research that project, actually. This could be a, a bit of a risk, you know, these things put your uh, computer ships at risk, you know, sometimes they may get destroyed in the process, um, or they may start off a chain of react or chain of events that you really don't want. But again, that's the uh, that's the risk of it. That's the the risk of exploration, and the excitement of it. Wouldn't be the same any other way. All right, back onto this. Hmm. Let's System see. Survey. Oh, I'll only choose these two, of course. Um, we're gonna have to get this out of the way at some point. Okay, we'll get this early on, so our leaders get more experience. That's gonna continue forward the whole game, obviously. Right, let's have a look at some other systems we can go to. I want to try and build out. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot to explore. And hopefully when we encounter the other species, you can actually trade star charts with them. So I wouldn't have to go and do it all by myself. But that's uh, potentially quite far away. Let's have a look at now the surface of our home world. Look at this. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, research that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have read that out. Um, Anomaly discovered. Mm -mm -mm. You got your void craft thing, so we'll get you going with that. Now, where was I? Okay, so here's our planet surface, and 
as we can see, it's a Gaia world. It's very big. You don't normally get this many tiles on uh, any regular world, so it's pretty nice that we've got a, a Gaia world for this and such a big one. Uh, this means we can upgrade the building. No special project. The BFN Omadadfin special has successfully project. restored power to the automated shipyard over Osteuk 5. The facility uh, immediately resumed its interrupted construction order, using what materials it had in hand to build an advanced frigate of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the alien facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to the new ship and pressed it into service for a new fleet. There you go. So that was worth it in the end. We managed to get uh, we got uh, some military ships out of that. Let's have a look at them. And uh, they'll be here. Look at that. So oh, there we go. So this is the new ship we managed to get by, by chance on researching here. That's pretty cool. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient civilization on Reshel 1. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens called themselves Ute, and appear to have been very large and flat arthropod analogues. It seems that a in uh, single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, and apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three Ute to travel aboard the same starship. Well, wow, that's pretty interesting. There begins the precursors to Ute's event chain. Situation log updated. Fantastic. Situation log updated. Okay, what was it doing here? So we're going to move these new ships we got. I'm just going to pause it really quick just to make sure we can get everything done on time. New ship, we're going to bring it back to our home world and we're going to try and merge that with our current ships. These are our current military ships that we have. Start off with them. And we have our construction ship. We're going to send him over to build a research station on Osteuk 2. And we're now poised. Oh, a gateway. It contains a gateway. Oh, that's pretty interesting. A disabled gateway. Oh, these are like wormhole gateways. I think I remember this. That's something interesting. We're going to look into that later too. But I think this is a good place to end the first episode. Um, I plan on doing more of these as a... Just a kind of chilled um a, a chilled experience you know just to work our way through the galaxy and have a, a nice little chill experience of it so thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you next time